Hello, my name is Brian Davis, and I'm a graduate history student at Liberty University. Today, I'm at St. John's Episcopal Church, located in the Mount Airy community of Pennsylvania County. St. John's, originally St. Andrew's Church of England, is one of the oldest congregations in Pennsylvania County. Originally founded in 1752, it was called St. Andrew's Church of England. The reason that's important is because St. Andrew's Church of England was part of the Church of England as all of these folks around here were part of the Church of England because they were British colonists. Everyone that lived around here was part of the tax-supported Church of England. Then, after the American Revolution, the church became St. Andrew's Episcopal Church. St. Andrew's Episcopal Church was in a different location. It was down the road a little bit toward Halifax County, the original building. The congregation, though, has been the same since prior to the American Revolution. The first building was not large enough, so in June of 1832, land was deeded here in the Mount Airy community to build a new church. And that church sits at the site where the modern St. Andrews United Methodist Church sits. It was to be used by all denominations. It was deeded for a term of 500 years. Now that church held the Episcopalians, but the Episcopalian congregation grew so large that at the end of the 1800s, in 1891, this church was consecrated. Now, they all moved out and they left St. Andrew's United Methodist to the Methodist. So they renamed this church to St. John's, St. John's, excuse me, St. John's Episcopal Church. St. John's is a part of the Southern Diocese of Virginia. The Southern Diocese of Virginia has 143 churches in 26 counties. The Episcopal Church descended from the Church of England. The Church of England was founded by Henry VIII. Henry VIII was a king at the time and he wanted to have a divorce because he could not have a male heir. The Pope would not grant him a divorce based on this assertion, so the king decided that he would form his own church, which he did. The Church of England, of course, has grown through the years and now during the time of the American, prior to the time of the American Revolution, during the colonial period, that's what everyone in Virginia was. They were part of the Church of England, as I said before. Even at Jamestown, they had a meeting house, and that was part of the Church of England. And what do the Episcopalians believe? Well, according to the Episcopalians' website, they believe that in the Holy Trinity, they believe that Jesus' life and death and resurrection saved the world. They believe that men and women can serve as bishops and priests and deacons. They believe that leadership is a gift of God and can be expressed regardless of sexual orientation, which has been highly controversial in the past few years and has caused a decline in membership in the Episcopalian Church. They believe that the Bible is wholly inspired. They have a book of common prayer. They believe in the Nicene and the Apostles' Creed. And that the book of prayer toward the end contains what they call a catechism. They have sacraments. They believe in the baptism as an outward sign of an inward faith. This is done by sprinkling of water. They believe in the Eucharist or Holy Communion. They believe in confirmation, which is an adult affirmation of the baptism. They believe in reconciliation of the penitent through private confession. They believe in holy matrimony, Christian matrimony. They believe in the ordination of deacons and priests. And they believe in unction, which was different for me because I had never experienced that or seen it and that is the anointing with oil for the sick and the dying. 
I would like to thank you for your time, and may God bless you.